What is happening, sports fans? It's your main man, Matt, from the DFS 5-pack. Here with my main man, the DFS Patriot. It's Monday, February 28th. I had a little case of the Monday scariest this morning, but now I'm with you. I'm happy. What's happening, bro? Yeah, what's going on? Hopefully had, everyone had a good Sunday. Uh, again, you know, the MMA, obviously we didn't talk yesterday. Basketball, we, you know, life happens. Um, but, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, I saw some of the comments, and please reach out. Anything you want differently to it. Again, that was a first timer. I was jacked up. I felt like a five year old, you know, going to the toy store. So any input you guys have would be much appreciated. I know you were you were uh six or seven and oh. I know Bobby Green got rolled. Um got rocked. Did that hurt you? No, because I didn't play so it hurt me in cash because Makashev was sixty five percent owned. Right. Um, but my tournament lineup still did, did really well. I mean, my biggest my biggest downer was uh, Rodriguez, uh, who did not show up. But with, yeah. with that being said, you know, in a okay. betting angle, he just – I mean, to be fair, I think he should have won the fight by decision. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, you can't, leave it, you can't leave it in the judge's hands. And, you know, the fight was close enough where it came down to, you know, it was a split decision. And he just didn't, he just didn't execute with the way he was supposed to, to be honest with you. That sucks. That happens, though, um, in all yeah. sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a rough LOL beat on yesterday morning. I was telling you about still getting over that. Want to just cry all day yesterday, but can't do it. Got to move on. Pick my pick the pieces up and uh, yeah, talk some hoops tonight. We got seven games to go over. Mm-hmm. Some good spots. Some spots I'm excited to talk about. So let's pull up DK and talk this out. Word. All right, should be up now. So the first game on the docket that we got is Minnesota Cleveland. So Minnesota, who do we got hanging out? Beasley's questionable. He's probably he's probably gonna play, but he's kind of irrelevant anyways. Yeah, he's fine. So I'd say he's irrelevant at thirty two hundred. Not gonna lie, like he's so cheap. Yeah, you're right. He's irrelevant though. I'm with you. He's a, <laughs> I mean, if you want to take a tourney fly around him, go for it. I just yeah, if you're like multi entering, I mean, he's right, two hundred, but you know, he's he can get you anywhere from five to thirty. Right. Can I ask you a uh, a question that might be why why aren't we going right back to Anthony Edwards here? I knew your first question was going to be about <laughs> Edwards. Like he just hasn't been playing well. Um, but, uh, he's just so cheap. Yeah, I, I think he is. He projects really well. Um, mm-hmm. I think he'll be very much owned. People, uh, some people will be scared off by the game log, but yeah, I like him a lot at seven K. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm buying low here for sure. Oh my. Well, and I was talking to another one of my buddies, and he was like, "Why do you love Edwards? Like, why do you keep playing him at this price?" I'm like, dude, eventually he's gonna go off after he pisses all these people off, and no one's gonna be on him, and I'm gonna be riding that train home. He doesn't even need to like go off at this price for anymore. Like, if he just has like forty, you're like, yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. No one, no one's playing him right now. I don't know about that because of the price, but I do like him a lot. Maybe yeah. he is a little bit under owned, so I'm with you. I like him a lot here. Yeah, I do too. I mean, again. You know, that sounds like we're beating a dead horse, but just the, the opportunity cost here is, is far superior with the upside that he pro- provides us 7K. I agree. Um, I mean, any, anything – I mean, do you like your boy D'Lo again? Yeah, I think he's too cheap also. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he got another price decrease as well, and he's playing better than Ant, uh, Ant-Man. Yeah, he's got a couple stinkers in there also, but – They got, got rolled last game too, so we lost a lot of minutes. It's similar to Edwards to me. Like, I think he's just too cheap. I do like Edwards a little bit more, but they're both in play for me for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's enough value that we'll get to later on, too, that you could even do play both of them if you wanted to get weird. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're not even expensive. You could definitely play both yeah. of them. There's, yeah, just exactly. a lot of guys, there's a lot of guys in that price range I like, so that's the only yeah. thing. Yep, I get that. Um, and for me, I'm not playing Cat against the interior defense of the Cavs. I don't know about you. No, I'm not either. I'm not looking to spend like 3K more on him than the other guys. So, yeah. No. Exactly. All right. Um, on the Cleveland side. So, Cleveland side, no Garland, no Levert, no Rondo. So, I mean, you just go right back to Goodwin, right? Yeah, just go right back to Goodwin. And, and I mean, he shot 2 of 11. Like, he played 38 minutes. He's a lock for me. Like, lock, yep. lock. Yeah. Uh, and I think some people might be scared of the price increase, too. Yeah, I don't know about like, scared, but I think his ownership will be less than what it was. He'll still be like popular, especially in the more expensive entry fees stuff. Like yep. he's going to get love because he's, I mean, in my opinion, probably the best play on the slate. One guy I'm upset I didn't use last time, even though my lineup sucked anyways, but I called him playing like having the ball in his hands was Chetty. 
Yeah, you did. You did say him a lot. Did he ball? I obviously didn't pay attention. He did. Oh yeah. He, I played a coral. Played Thirty minutes too. Wow. I played a coral over him. Never again. A coral is so bad. Like he's just <laughs> awful. Um. Yeah, Chetty. Like in a game, they only scored ninety-two points. He kind of filled up the stat sheet. They, they're they're losing a lot of use. They're losing a lot of usage with Garland and Lavert, and Love just doesn't play a lot of minutes. Right. I mean, and again, he's gonna probably play close to that thirty-minute threshold again. I can probably assure you they're gonna score a hell of a lot more than ninety-two tonight. Agreed. So yeah, I have no problem. I mean, if you think he's gonna have the ball in his hand like he did this last game, there's no reason that he can't replicate what he did. There's nothing out of the realm on that. Yeah, I'm not like overly uh, confident with it, but I think at 4,400, he's in play. Yep, I would agree with that. Um, and then, I mean, yeah, so, I mean... Marking in, too. Is Mobley... Why does Mobley seem like he's too cheap to me? Yeah, Mobley, I, I mean, think... Mark, Mark's, Mark's playing good, too, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they just don't have usage right now, and Mobley is not a high-usage guy. That's the thing. So, that's that's the kicker right there. He's still I mean, definitely in play, though. I mean, listen, he like, yeah, he's wildly in play. I think. Yeah, sixty nine hundred. I mean, especially if you, if you wanted to go weird and game stack this game, like, there's enough mid tier value in this game. A lot of mid tier value in this game. There's a lot of mid tier value all over the slate because the next game has a lot of it, also. Yeah. So Indy and Orlando, Indy, who beat up on my Celtics last night, which I saw coming, by the way. Yeah, the Celtics um, the stinker coming. <laughs> Yeah, they needed it. I mean, which is fine. It was a back-to-back travel. I'm fine with it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I mean, Jalen Smith was burying threes. It was, it was borderline disgusting, to be honest with you. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that is it disgusting. Was, it, it was, like, I mean, and he was, like, like, like nothing but nylon. Every Like, yeah. It was, yeah, he went to five, which is way too good for him. But, like, <laughs> um, just. Yeah, I'll say this about Indy. Like, do you think Brogdon plays on the back-to-back? Uh, I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, what does the line say? What do like say? What'd you say? Would say? Oh, I say. I say. What does Vegas say? The line on this game is Orlando is like a one point favorite. Oh, right. Yeah, so that would leave me to believe Brogdon's not playing then. I don't think Brogdon really affects it that much, though. Like, you know, one even still one point is. I can't believe I don't think, I don't think Indiana's any. favored here. That's what I mean. Like that doesn't even make sense to me. I mean, it does. Indiana sucks. They both suck. They both suck. And Orlando's at home. <laughs> I definitely think Orlando's worse than Indiana. But Orlando actually has like ever since I called them like the worst team ever. Like they actually have not been as awful. No, and you know who actually looked good yesterday? Isaiah Jackson. I mean, I'm sure a lot he of them was- looked good yesterday. They he- put up 130 points. Yeah, but I mean, like he, like he wasn't like if you look box score wise, he doesn't look like he played well. But so like, isn't that a little bit scary? You said how well he played. At, he's six k and he put up twenty DK points. What happened? You're talking about how well he played. He's six k yeah. up twenty DK points. You know, I'm saying from a real life, not from a fantasy perspective. Yeah, I mean, I'm not playing him. No, no, no. I'm just saying. I was just saying in general because that was like the first time I've actually watched the Pacers play. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, they're. They're playing a lot of these young guys. Now Duarte's back. I don't know, a little bit of a muddy situation. But if Brogdon's in, I like him. If he's out, I like Heald and Halliburton. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Buddy Heald again. He was, again, everyone went off against us yesterday. But Buddy Heald's been playing good ball since he's arrived in Indiana. Huge minutes. Like, Mm -hmm. I like him even if Brogdon's Yeah. Yeah. It's scary. This is a scary situation to think of Buddy Heald at 7K. But, I mean, he earned it. Yeah, and we always knew like he's very talented offensively. So like Yeah. And and we know that in the end of the play defense, so it's a perfect situation for him. Yeah, I will say though, like as I mentioned with Mobley and them, like there's a lot of good mid tier here. Who do you like more? Hill or Mobley? I think Mobley's safer, but he'll have a higher upside. I agree, I agree. Yep. All right. Next, Orlando side of the ball. So everyone except Michael Carter Williams, who I'm pretty sure was released, but that's a different story for a different day. Um, I could get on board with some Wendell Carter here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's playing very good ball right now. 
Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that's a given. And he's doing he's it again. Like he's definitely their best DFS player. He has to be, right? Or, yeah. or most consistent as well. Yeah, agreed. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have no problem going there. I mean, it's it's a pace game, so I have no problem with the pace, the pace that they play at. And I think it's only going to lead him to having mm-hmm. more opportunities. Honestly, like the game he just put up against Houston, 24-12-2, and two, is very replicable. He only took mm-hmm. 11 shots. He didn't get a block or a steal. Not that he like he's he gets a ton of those, but it's a good matchup too. Like I, I actually like him a lot. Yeah, I have no argument with that one. What about your boy Suggs? Oh, is Fultz back tonight? Um. I, oh yeah, I knew it was this he's week, right? Tonight. Yeah, he's playing tonight. That's gonna murky up the backcourt. Yeah, it's gonna really murky it up. I wonder how much he plays. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get that information later on. I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, but that'd be something to watch because, like, you know, that's going to jam into Suggs and Anthony's minutes, I think. Agreed. So, that's I'm probably staying away from the Orlando guards until we have more clarity what that's going to look like. I couldn't agree more. All right. Toronto, Brooklyn. So, Van Vliet is questionable okay and and nobody's out for a while so i think it was trent was it trent or barnes that really let us down last game both. yeah it was trent both but yeah, all both. played so like i was a fool and still played both barnes and trent but like with siakam and van fleet and barnes man was awful yeah i mean they both were this is one where like, i mean this is one where like from a person like a Human standpoint, I really struggled to go back to freaking Scotty Barnes here after that. And so much, so many other good plays on the slate. But then I'm like, damn, like he's still too cheap. Um, especially if Van Vliet's out. Like, I like the the other Toronto guys even more. Um, Siakam feels like a good play here. Siakam and Van Vliet are both cheap as hell. Well, that's what I mean. Wasn't Siakam like nine six the other day? Nine three. Okay. Yeah, actually, I mean, yeah, I think Van Vliet plays too. I mean, I mean, yeah, if he plays, he's too cheap. He is too cheap at AK if he plays, but I mean, it's a knee, so. So, the, oh, so they have a back to back, so they're playing a home and home against Brooklyn today and tomorrow. Okay. So, from. That report in the bottom, it seems like he's going to be sitting one of the two days. Yeah, we shall see. I guess we'll just have to wait. Not Toronto, hard to break down. The other guy I mentioned last time, even with Siakam in played, got run is Thad Young. Yep. Know who else balled, too, that I called out? Precious. Ooh. Did he really? Oh, yeah. Like, big smash. Oh. Only centers a kick like, in the you know what. Oh, wow. He played 30 minutes, too? Yeah, he smashed. They kind of got rolled a little bit. Like, I don't trust any of these front court guys except for Siakam. Yeah, I think I'm, if I'm if I'm playing this side of the ball and then Van Vliet's in, I'm, I'm probably only touching Siakam. Yeah, I'm with you. All right. Brooklyn side, um, obviously no Kyrie because it's a home game, and the mayor just came, came out and said that he's not changing the rules. For Kyrie, because it would be a bad president for the rest of the city. Yeah, I saw that. So, show. so that's hilarious because I don't like Kyrie. Um, I mean, so yeah, so from the, I mean, how do you like a guy like a Drummond or Patty Mills or Seth Curry gets a bump back up? What, what do you take on those guys? Oh yeah, because I mean, I think those guys are in play, man. Like their prices are down. I like Seth Curry you now again a lot. Um, Right, and even with Kyrie, he was still put up a 30 spot. Yeah, I mean, I'm not excited about it, but at home with no Kyrie. Yeah, what I, about Dragic? Yeah, I thought about him. Uh, nah. Wait, but is he going to play more minutes, though? Yeah, like, I, I don't know about what to expect from Dragic. Um, like, what if he starts? Oh, then he's a lock. Okay. Well... I don't know about Locke because I like Goodwood more still. Right, and they're both only point guard eligible. 
Right. And then it's like there's a couple other point guards we'll get to that I like a lot. He yeah, would the next game. be real good, though. He might become a, I, he might be a lock if he, if he starts, honestly. Yeah. Because I could see them starting, you know, Dragic, Mills. It just depends Curry. on how many chance they want to play him, though. Like, he hadn't played really all right. year. But I do remember, like, earlier this year for Toronto, he played, like, a random game or two. And he played, like, 30 minutes. Right, right. And then they put him on the shelf. Right. So I, it's not like he could play minutes. Seth Curry's my favorite. Um, but then also, like, I guess Patty Mills. Yeah. Drummond. Drummond's been playing. Weird. He played more minutes the last game. Yeah. He's and, he had, risky. and he had five fouls, too. Yeah, he's risky. But I think he's clearly yeah. upside here. Yeah. Um, what about your guy, like, uh, James Johnson? He's still on that train? Um, mm, I'm fine with it at 41, but I feel like I like a guy like Thaddeus Young, cheaper anyways. Right. All right, sweet. Chicago, Miami is next. So Chicago, Booch is, is he going to, is he, like, oh, he's probable. Okay. Because like, that will mix some things up. Um, Obviously, Lonzo and Caruso are still out. I don't know. There's really nothing from... There's really nothing for me in this game that's exciting. Well, nothing from the Chicago side. From Miami, a, bunch, I mean. a right. bunch of these guys are popping with no Lowry. Oh, yeah, like Gabe, like Gabe Vincent? Yeah, he's popping hard. Where the hell is he? 36. Oh, yeah, I mean, how do you not, to be honest? So, I don't know. How you put he it makes too much sense to me. Is if, if Dragic starts and Goodwin, like, I feel like, you could play all three of them, but then you're not getting like the John Morant's of the world. You know what I mean? Like, right, so, right, right, right. Like, you might be picking two of them between Vincent Dragic and Goodwin. Right now, though, Vincent and Goodwin are, are the locks. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Even like, like even if Dragic is a starter, I think I'm still playing Gabe Vincent over him because we know what he's um, his minutes. Like. Same, but another guy, man, like shy. Like he's only point guard eligible. Like, but was it, he's only point guard now? Yeah, and like he plays in Sacramento. Oh my. God, like I like That's him a lot here too. Uh huh. You know yep, what I mean? I agree with that. I like mm-hmm. Darren Fox a lot. So <sighs> they really yeah. got to give these guys more point guard, shooting guard eligibilities. Tyler Hero also is popping a little bit. I mean, I don't like him as much when Jimmy's in. Yeah, same. But he's fine. I agree. I think he's fine at sixty three. There's other guys I like more. Is how I'd put it. Yeah. I mean, you can play Jimmy, obviously, if you want to. I mean, I have no problem with anybody playing Jimmy, especially with when he's going to be having the ball in his hand more because Lowry's usually just gone. Yeah, under 9K against his old team, I don't hate it at all. Yeah. All right. Um, so, San Antonio, Memphis. So, everyone's fake injuries are all gone now after their 76-minute game. Um, Dougie is a questionable. Naturally, I played him. The day that everyone was ruled out, and he got hurt within the first five minutes. All the Spurs prices are up. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably not touching any Spurs. Same. I mean, Deontay Murray would be the best one, but there's like ten six. I'm fine. I mean, especially point guard only two. I'm fine with it, and he's only point guard, but he's going to be very low owned, and that's intriguing. Yep. Same. I mean, same. I think you can say the same thing about Jacopoto at seventy three hundred. He's going to be low owned. Yeah, he's he not. Could easily have himself a game here. Yeah, he's not not a game like Murray could have, though. No, God, no. But, I mean, there's a 3K discrepancy for that reason. Fair point. Um, all in all, though, probably don't get to anything from San Antonio. I'm with you. Yep. All right, Memphis side. Ja is only 97. Wow. In a pace-up spot. Yeah, he looks good here. My, my biggest concern, I think, is does it stay close enough? Yeah, that's. Yeah. I think that's a legit concern. Man. You can't play DF- you can't play DFS NBA like that. It's like hard to have forty six real life points and only have fifty six DFS points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. He just. But I mean, that just shows you like how if he wants to turn it on point wise, he can. But if he wants to distribute and be a part of the game in different ways, he can do that too. Definitely, I'm with you. Uh, I mean, he looks great here. I don't know if I'm going to prioritize him. 
but he does look great. My favorite piece from Memphis, I can't believe I still haven't, haven't been playing this guy, is Steven Adams. I was, I was literally going to click to him because I knew who you were talking about before you even said his name. I mean, Ballin. Yeah, fine matchup here. Mm-hmm. He's another guy, 6K. I don't right. love him, but I'm more than fine with him. Oh, my God, and a mid-tier build, too? Yeah, exactly. And then the other guy, yep. the one other guy, well, I guess Desmond Bain always is in tournaments. De'Anthony Melton. Right. Um, not exactly sure why he's popping a little bit, but he is. Well, is Brandon Clark going to be out, and he's going to step into a, the shooting guard, and then they're going to bump over everyone? Bain just small forward. Yeah, baby. I mean, that's, I mean, that's the only thing. I, that's the only thing I can think of. All you need for him is minutes. Right, right. He'll get he's there the without like the minutes. I like to play him. Like he's one of those guys. Like when he gets run, he's he's got upside. Yeah, I mean, at forty six hundred. Yeah, right here. In the game's twenty seven minutes, twenty eight, twenty minutes, twenty four. He has thirty, forty DK points. So yeah. So I mean, I'm not going out of my way for him. If I had forty six left, I wouldn't mind it. But again, I think there's better yeah. spots. Like when I build, I doubt I play him, but not impossible. Yeah. All right. Next is. Charlotte and Milwaukee. Wow. So, well, I mean, what do you think about a guy like guy like Harold here? They play. They played in overtime yesterday. Oh, that's interesting. But he only played twenty four minutes, even with OT. Yeah, even with OT. What the hell are they do? I I don't understand this big man rotation they have. PJ Washington played thirty two. Which is basically consistent with what he's been doing. So they play Plumley. No Plumley. So they went small. I know Bridges had a monster game. Oh, oh yeah, God yeah, oh boy. Honestly, like he's. Why is he not in play? I mean, price drop. He's balling right now. He's been consistent over the past four. He's been crushing the value. Yeah, exactly. Even that thirty-five, like, is not awful. I mean. Yeah, like uh, he's my favorite yeah, I, Charlotte, I think by far. Yeah, I know Lamelo has won monster game against Milwaukee earlier this year. Without Drew Holiday, though. Yeah, well, Drew Holiday didn't do much to, your, to Kyrie. I remember you mentioning that, and I didn't play Kyrie, and Kyrie went nuts. Yeah, you loved Kyrie though before I even said anything. Sixty-four burger right here. Yeah, that was pretty recent. Um, yeah. Actually, no, it wasn't. Wait, when was no, that? January. It was December. How did you find December. that game log? Oh, I scrolled down. If it's all the way. Don't they only have 10 games in there? No. That's just the, the app, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, this yeah, was the whole season. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Wow, that's that's sad. Um, <laughs> it's sad I didn't realize it. Um, So... Yeah, I mean, he's, like, not expensive, but... He's I'd rather hard. play Ja. Yeah, I would, too. I'd rather play Rozier, maybe, coming off a monster game yesterday. And shooting guard eligible. Yeah, yeah. I won't play either of these guys, though. Like, No. Rozier is, like, hot and cold, though. And, right, he's hot right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I wouldn't I was mind listening to, You'll appreciate this. I was listening to a Jason Tatum interview. Not an yeah. interview. On the, I don't know if you listened to it on... JJ Reddick's old man in the three podcast. No, I don't, but continue. He was just on there last week. Um, he's got good guests, obviously, JJ Reddick, because people respect him. So right. Tatum was on last week and they were talking about a bunch of stuff, but at one point he was he was talking about how when uh he got drafted and like he first came in in his first workout and stuff. And Kyrie and, like, his friends were all after, like, after his first, like, open gym. Like, man, how is it playing with Kyrie? Like, how nice is Kyrie? Blah, blah, blah. And, like, he was like, man, obviously Kyrie's amazing. But the guy that that I couldn't believe how nice he was was Terry. That's really? what he said. Yeah. He was like, I was like, they should be giving him the ball more. Like, that's what he's, like, that's what Tatum said. Like, he was like, this guy was the nicest guy on the floor. Jesus. I know. Um, he is good. Like, I mean, yeah, he's good. Yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I just I don't know how much winning he impacts, but like, 
there aren't that many guys that can score like him. Right. Yeah. He he's a, he's a scorer. That was the thing when he came out of Louisville, and everyone like you know was on Ainge about why you draft him so early, and he his his comment was literally like the man can score. Uh, yeah, and considering how most NBA draft picks bust, like he's definitely a hit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, hundred um, percent. I don't know though. Uh, from Charlotte, I think Bridges would be my favorite. Uh, Rozier's intriguing because we know he has upside, but not the greatest spot. Should be a pace up game. I almost feel like Milwaukee just rolls here after a couple straight losses. Yeah, what's up? I mean, I mean, Porter's is intriguing to me because we know how Charlotte is against big men. He, yeah, he. You called him out last time too. He was really good. Yeah, I mean, so I have, and he again, he fits that mid tier build. He definitely does. I mean, who do you like more, Portis or Mobley? Oh, that's tough. I think it's the same uh, as the one I asked you before. Mobley is safer, but Portis has higher upside. Although, honestly, like, they're similar. Well, that's what I mean. I think they, they each have the 30-point floor, you know, with the upper 50, the mid-50 ceilings. And they don't, and they won't hit that ceiling that often. Right. Right. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's personal preference at this point. I think for me, I'd play Portis just because I'm always on big men versus Charlotte. Yeah, I think you could easily play both. The, the yep. only thing about Portis that makes it harder to get there is only center eligible. I know, when Mobley has a power forward eligibility. But it's not like we love center today, so. I was going to say, we haven't really talked about many centers that we even like, so. No. Um, so, uh, one guy that uh, we didn't even talk about from one of the first games, I can never – get him right is Mo Bamba is another center. I'm not playing. I never I never get him right. And he just frustrates the hell out of me. I mean, I get his price is, you know, fine, but like he's got a monster upside, but he's not cheap enough for me to take the risk on it. Right, if he's 37, we're talking a different beast, but 47 Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that, uh, yeah, I'm with you. I just can't do it. What about yeah. for Milwaukee? So, I mean, yeah, Milwaukee. Big like, men against Charlotte. Like, Giannis is basically – a, a, like, that's, that's the guy I look to. Yeah, but, I mean, I think what your comment that you just made is very, very big. Is it going to stay close enough? Yeah, but as you also said earlier, like, you can't play DFS like that. Like, cause first that's, of, so, that's true. But I will say, now, the other side of that is, like, Giannis is 12K. So when you're that expensive, you got to start looking at it because, yeah, if, Char- if Milwaukee rolls, Giannis probably has a big something to do with it. He might right. like he might have like forty at halftime, but if they're up like thirty, they, I don't know. I just can't take the blots into too much consideration because like Giannis could have fifty DK points at halftime here, and no one would be surprised. Right. I mean, the thing is, like, so I look at the you know his past game log where it's been that price. Like games that were close, like fine, we're crushing value. The game that they got blown out by Phoenix, they ain't getting blown out here. No, no, but I'm saying even if they blow out, if they do the blowing out. Yeah, but it's different if they do the blowing out. Yeah, it very well could be. Yeah. No, yeah, it could be like, it's like if you're on the team that's blowing out, like chances are like some guys are doing something right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like, so okay, I'll put it like this if that score against Phoenix had been 131, 107, I bet you Giannis has 65 DK points there, even if he lost a little run. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Um, so like I, I, I never mind taking guys from the team that I think is going to do the blowout blowing out. That said, when it starts to be expensive like this, that's when it does start to be a concern. Like if I use Giannis, maybe I'd use Mile Bridges with him because like you know saying that the game's going to stay close. But all in all, I like Giannis a lot, but I like the mid tier build more. I think. Yeah, I would agree with that. That's similar to that day where you really like uh, Jokic, and but the mid tier build was a better build for that day. Exactly. All right. Um, next up is wow. This is great. I didn't realize that all these games are going to be start at seven and are done by eight. Like the yeah. last tip off is eight o'clock. That's phenomenal. So yeah. So Sacramento side. I mean, how do you not just look at the two guys that are doing all the work? Yeah, this should be a. Uh, I like it's some games like- that game. I like Sabonis, Fox, and Shy a lot. Yeah, but then I think at that point, because we talked about kind of how Shy is he's only point guard now, right? Yep. Oh, that's so. Then you then you're playing one of the three value guards. Exactly. So, but I mean, you could do it though. Yeah, you definitely could, but like, 
it does seem like Fox would be the odd guy out there. I would agree. He yeah, balled last game, game, though. It was funny. Sabonis balled the first game against Denver, and then Fox really balled. Oh, yeah, he went off. Yeah, I mean, he's good. He just can't shoot that well. No, he can't. And that's, but I think that's why I like Sabonis, because he has every aspect of a, of a really strong player. You know, he can shoot, you know, mid-range. He's got a good inside presence. He's active on the boards, and he, and he sees the floor well, too, so his assist number's are high. Yeah, I also prefer Sabonis. He's a little bit more expensive. He's also only center eligible. But on a slate like tonight, well, we don't really love – like, I mean, for me, I think I'm – for center, I think I'm literally on either, like, Portis or Sabonis. Um, because, I mean, because I think Drummond will get love, but, like, I don't want to play that game. The other guy is Isaiah Roby on the other side. Yeah, he's center only. I thought he was, he's not power forward either. Mm-mm. Oh, my God. DraftKings needs to calm down. Yeah, right. Um, so, the other guy I think you could take a flyer on from Sacramento is Jeremy Lamb. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's been playing some good minutes. And 3,800, you could do a lot worse. Yeah, the thing is, if he's going to be a part of this rotation, like all those guys eat into each other. DiVincenzo, Holiday, Lamb, mm-hmm. Mitchell. Mitchell's getting forward run. <clears throat> he's my favorite of the bunch. I actually at 3,800 like him as a value piece in a game I like a lot. Yeah, yeah, he and he and it said he fits that value mold in a small forward position as habitually That's, always yeah. low, low. Yep. Um, uh, all right, other, uh, other side uh, of this game. So obviously, no Giddy, no Dort, no Williams, no Drome. Everyone and their mother's out. Um, yeah, I mean, you said it. Shy is Shy is the guy here, but I mean, I guess. If you could only play, um, if you could only play Shy or Ja, who are you playing? Shy. Okay, yeah, I think I'd agree with that one. I don't think it's like oh, I don't yeah, think it's, it's what. I don't think it's like oh, like if, if you're telling me Shy is going to be like forty percent owned and Ja's like twenty percent owned, I like Ja more. But at the same right. ownership on paper, I like Shy more. Um, Shy looks like one of the best plays on the slate, even at that yep. price. I mean, because the other thing, like, I'm worried about how bad his teammates are, but it's a good. The Kings stink, and also he's like really good. I think so. He, yeah, I mean, when he was in, he was in when he was in LA. Like, I feel like he was just getting shut out because there was so much talent there. And then he came to a place like OKC, and like it's like his potential was like, oh god, crazy that they got him out of that deal when like they were basically forced to give up Paul George, like. Right, right. They 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 own. He's that better team. than Paul George, and Paul. I, I still respect Paul George. Like at his best, in one playoff in one playoff game right now, I'm not gonna say I'd rather have Shy than Paul George, because I think it's probably close. But I think the point is like if I if I were like building a team, it's not even. A, I mean, oh, not even a question. No, and even yeah. if for like one year, it's not even like I think it's a, it's really close. Like. Yeah. I might be shy at this point, just over him overall anyways. Yeah, shy's a dude. Yeah, he is. The other guy is, I mentioned Roby, 4,600, don't love it, but all these guys are out. They're not going to give Derek Favors big minute. It's like no. pretty good matchup. I don't love it, though. I mean, No, I mean, I don't mind taking a shot on Trey Mann again. I liked him last game. With and no giddy, like he's clearly like. He is, he is the one. I mean, he is the two. Yeah, he is. Uh, and at 5,400 in this pace, in this matchup, like, I really like him. I think that's one, especially if you're fading Shy too. Yeah, but even if you're not, like, if you went Shy, Trey Mann, and Sabonis, right. then you can even throw sure. Lamb in there, too. Right, but then, like, I also want, like, Edwards, Curry, Wendell yeah. Carter. You know what I'm saying? So, right, like, right, right. Yeah, there's a couple different ways to go, but that gets us into it. Let's build. You go first. All right, fine. So I'm going to start with the obvious. Vincent, I'm gonna build. And then I'm gonna go Savonis. Trey Man. We were just talking about that. And then small forward is Ant Man. Power forward, who do I want? 
See, this is the part where I'd love yeah, to watch. This line, but there's guys you're forgetting about that I'll, I'll get to in my bill. I know you know that, but like. Yeah, oh yeah, of course, right. So, I mean, again, this is a sh- like power forward is crap. So that's where, like, a part where like, I feel like I have to fade a shy in this lineup. So, I, I mean, for, for forward, I can go lamb. Yeah, you can. But then that gives me You're what? 15, right, 59 to power forward. I mean, man, I, I, oh, line start really likes O'Shea Brissett. He's like the one guy you didn't call out from them, and like he was, and like, he was he was nice yesterday. He's been nice, right? I, I mean, yeah, I guess with this lineup that actually fits phenomenal, right? Especially because like, yeah, maybe you don't love O'Shea Brissett, but you just said that power forward sucks. So unless you're right. spending up on like a Mobley, you know what I mean? Which you're gonna have to right. drop someone down to do so. Like that's right. don't forget about that. It's not like you know what I mean. Right, right. I mean, this, if that was the case, I'd have to drop down probably from Sabonis to Portis. Right, which you could also do. But then, which like, I could do. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, we could do two builds if you want, but clear this out because I'm going to go yeah. now. Do you, I'm assuming you want Vincent and Goodwin? I do. And I want Edwards in there. Okay, fine. So there we go. Um, so now I want Seth Curry at shooting guard. Siakam, a power forward. Um, Wendell Carter, at center. Van Vliet at utility. Or no, put Van Vliet at shooting guard, Seth Curry at forward. Where the hell is he? Right in front of my face. Well, that's nothing. I could have won Seth Curry in that lineup. Oh, yeah. Well, if, if you, oh, you no, have, I couldn't have it. I, no, I had, I had forward. Right, right, right. Yep. So, who's so that the, puts you at utility at 45. Is that Roby Land? No. Chatty. You're, you're 100 off Roby. Yeah. Um, you know what? Take Van Vliet out because, like, he's. I do think he's cheap, but I already got Siakam. Yeah. See, now... Okay. Um, here's where I could go, like... You know what? Okay, go Curry at shooting guard again and put Lamb in. See, what, see who I get up to then. Probably someone pretty nice, like a fox. Halliburton, fox. If Brogdon's out, I'd play Halliburton here. Yep. I like yep. that a lot, straight mid-tier. Right, right, literally, literally straight mid-tier. Yep. I mean, yeah, I like that a lot as of right now, but I'm sure as, as we're making this video, stuff's going to come out. Damn, I wish I could get Butler in this. Yeah, no kidding, right? Uh, where would it be, though? I mean, what, so if you had Butler 89, right, you'd have to drop from – what if you drop from, like, Seth or from – I mean, well, you could go – make it, um, Seth is 50, so that would be 57. That would get you Scotty Barnes if Van Vliet's out. Yeah, I could easily do that. Um, I don't think Butler's a must either. So, right. I don't know. Interesting. Bunch of good plays on this slate. Yes, sir. Do you want to do another one? Or are you good? Well, no, I can do a quick one. All right, cool. We'll wait, do one more. Yeah. Um, so, center. Portis at center. And then. Let's see if I go shooting guard. I'm still going Trey Man. I like him a lot. Um, and then probably go Mobley here in this build. Yeah, forward. And then can I get no? Or what if? Can I go? Hold on, let's see something. 
Giannis. Lamb. I don't mind that. There's so many guys in this range you could go to. Right, like a Drummond. Like, I know I don't trust his minutes fully, but like, you go Bain, marketing. Seth Curry. Right. And I could even jump off, you know, if I wanted to do, like, say that, say that for whatever reason that what's his face is a starter, Drogic. I'm going to go that, and then 57 puts me on Scotty Barnes, Devin Basil. Wagner. You know, Wagner, yeah, the whole, I mean, all, any of those three. Like, if, if, if Van Vliet's out, like, that's easy right there. I agree. I agree. All right, clear it. Check for Vincent Edwards and Goodwin. Vincent. All right, now go Sabonis. Um, Siakam. I really like Siakam here. Uh, Go Trey Man, Fox. I can't get to Fox. Um, nope. Um, take out Trey Man. Actually, keep Trey Man in. Go Lamb. Brogdon. Healed Mobley Portis. Yep. I think it's really like Wendell Carter. Um so instead of Lamb, put in Wendell Carter. Let's see if there's any like cheapos. Uh, Tell me we're gonna go full full circle and end up on Malik Beasley. Uh you might. No, I won't. Thad Young. Oh, is he 35? He's like around 34. there. Oh, yeah, yeah, 34 right there. I could easily play him. Yeah, why not? Right? Yeah. I mean, he's 3,400. Like, right, right. Yeah, we pay for I'd play him over any of those other guys down there. Oh, God, yeah. Um. So, yeah, I don't know. Fun slate to talk about. As I said, I'm sure news will come out. I know we'll be around this afternoon. We're making some changes to the website, so... Check that out, guys. If you want more content, more videos, go check out the DFS 5-pack. Go check out DFS Patriot on Twitter. You got anything else to add? No, that's it. If you got questions, again, just – and let us know, too. Like, I'm curious to see what else you guys want. If you like more of the MMA, you know, gambling angles, like, let us know. Sports card stuff, let us know. Mm -hmm. We're into it all. Both me and Derek uh, are into a lot of the same things. So we can make videos about a bunch of different topics. So let us know. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Thanks.